uh, to commend our students here, our high undergraduates, um, for all that you do to support them and, and for our academic programming here. Um, this year we're delighted to recognize 66 high undergraduates in the class of 2018, which is clearly, clearly poised to move on and do some great things. Um, as a reminder, uh, these students have carried a seven semester cumulative average at or above the high honor mark of 94.5. Um, of course, most of these students accomplish this feat while participating in several extracurricular activities, volunteering, and holding down part-time jobs. Um, so each year, we ask students to reflect a bit, and we realize this gets a little redundant for them. Um, but it's important for them to stop and reflect and think about the road that it took to actually get here. Um, so as many of you know, uh, students have already shared where they're headed next year, and we thought tonight we're just going to focus a little bit on some of the special memories from Fairport High School and most important learning experiences they shared in Fairport schools. And we hope you enjoy hearing about them as much as we did reading about them. Uh, one disclaimer, um, not all of our students had the opportunity to get to the, to, to the survey and fill out the form, so we're sharing everything that we have as of yesterday at about 4 o'clock, and we had to cut off the deadline so we could move forward. And again, at the conclusion, I invite all students and parents that aren't participating in the um, athlete recognition to join us next door for some, some treats. Let me turn things over to Mrs. Swap to get started. So students, as your names are called, if you can just come up onto the stage on the side and you can walk right across after you get your certificate. Ethan Abel, Claire Aroni, and Lydia Axelrod. Ethan will remember the leadership trip, Brotherhood Sisterhood Week, and participating on the cross-country team, while Claire shared some advice to work as hard as you can and you'll be headed towards great things. Andrew Bartlett, Kristen Bednarsik, and Matthew Roy. Kristen shared some advice to take advantage of all that Fairport has to offer and to stay involved. John Pollard, Olivia Caraccio, and Victoria Catalano. John shared memories of the hoedown, cross-country practice, and going out for lunch during senior year. Well, Olivia shared that she'll remember band the tea, all things drama club, the Prisms concert, outreach day, and senior ball. Carolyn Chapin, Kevin Klopp, and Shannon Cook. Kevin shared his memories of the Red Zone, varsity soccer, and varsity lacrosse. While well, Shannon's advice was to take VP classes because they taught her time management and how to challenge herself. Anna Boucheron Zafan, Anna Danish, and Valerie Delion. Anna shared that she'll remember being part of the Red Zone, cross country and track practices, and making friends with extraordinary people, while Anna remembers traveling to Ireland, varsity swimming, and her entitlement reform leadership group. Evelyn Dabosik, Jacob Dosti, and Bryce Emily. Evelyn will remember sitting with the FBI and FBI headquarters running a meeting with a special agent as this was a very unique experience for a high school student. While Bryce also noted the leadership trip being master of ceremony for FHS orchestra and cross country meets. Cassidy Engelson, Dallin Forsgren, and Matthew Gallon. Cassidy's advice to her peers is to be nice to everyone. Donlin will remember Museum Corner and AP Humanities, and Mrs. Hagedorn's sassy sombrero. I imagine there's a lot more to that story. Uh, <laughs> while Matt remembers Mr. Bobe and Global, G's trailer project, and Mr. Big's physics demo. Nathaniel Yee, Noah Gerlach, and Nicholas Giambro. Nathaniel will remember Brotherhood Sisterhood Week, the Boston trip, and Myrtle Beach. While well, Noah remembers the Red Zone, senior leadership, and playing baseball, and Nicholas will remember hockey, the Red Zone, and again, Brotherhood Sister of the Week. Thank you, Mrs. Watt. Before I start with my group of students, I'd like to say congratulations to all of our student graduates and all, to all of our families. This is a big step on our lives. I just wish you the best. Great. Our next group of students, Leah, Leo, 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 Anna Haas, and Chloe Harvey. Leo enjoyed being part of the 
many drama club productions, Brotherhood Sister of the Week, and will miss playing card games with his friends in the mouth. And I love going on a leadership trip to DC. It's the time she spent with the research group. And Chloe's favorite memories were playing on the varsity ice hockey team. She also loved homecoming, Brotherhood Sister of the Week, and great for music. Haley Dorado, Morgan Ingalls, and J.P. Jefferson. Haley appreciated the number of opportunities students have at FHS and wants all underclassmen to know that they should take advantage of them. Morgan's favorite memories were our brother and sister of week, doing arts and crafts at listening post, and engaging in spirit week. Jake reflected that the leadership trip is the most important experience he had and loved the museum corner at FHS. Nathesh Jadeja, Ryan Kavanaugh, and Sean Klusinski. Nathesh will proudly be attending Northwestern University in the fall. Ryan will always remember his positive experiences with robotics competition trips and building rockets in NASA Club. And Sean reflected that his fondest memories are the jazz dinner dance, the New York City trip, and the senior bash. Jake Krause, Richard Klipinski, and Jonathan Lutzer. Jake will remember his senior cross season and his time on the Boston trip. Richard reflected that the family talks during Brotherhood Sisters of the Week were very powerful because of being realized how lucky he was to attend Fairport and be part of the Fairport family. And Jonathan shared that the NASA Hunch taught him about a lot about responsibility and perseverance, and he learned a lot about failure and setbacks and how much you can learn from those. Nicholas Mangerian, Julia Metz, and Riley Miller. Nicholas's favorite memories were on the leadership trip, and he also shared he values his learning experiences here in his computer science courses. Julia will miss the Raider Palooza and sitting in the hallway with her friends every morning. And Riley valued her experience with brother and sister of the week in her time at the new Memorial Park Gallery. Mackenzie Mortimer, Marley Blaine, and Claire Myers. Mackenzie will always remember winning the field hockey sectionals, Raider Palooza, Brother and Sister of the Week, and the time working with Super Government. Marley shared that she loved the hoedown, her leadership class and trip, and playing in the pit for the musicals. Claire's favorite memories are playing soccer, running track, and supporting Special Olympics. <laughs> Lauren Nakamura, Thomas Uviglis, and Brendan O'Connor. Lauren shared that she appreciated how willing her teachers and counselors were to help out. Her favorite memories are the jazz dinner dance and her London and Scotland trips. Thomas's favorite memories of Fairport watching his sister play in the unified basketball team and participating in Brother and Sister of the Week. And Brennan reflected that he will always appreciate the Red Zone's energy, having fun at math team meets, square dancing, and he was appreciative of the learning experiences from his leadership class. Claudia Olson, Aiden Worth, and Shield Tell. Claudia shared that she's appreciative of all the opportunities Fairport offered will remember her teachers and mentored her along the way. Hayden will miss the holiday jazz assemblies, jazz dinner dances, and know that he had a great time during the senior ball. She appreciates his teachers that he had to care for and looks forward to attending Carnegie Mellon University in the fall. For the next group of students, I'd like to call Mr. Clark back up to the podium. Without a doubt, the fastest ceremony we do all year. So, I hope you're ready for your pace. Uh, this is similar to graduation. So, uh, Natalie Petricelli, uh, Margaret Porkop, and Eric Ronzo. Not here with us tonight. Right. And Mej Dukana, Julia Sage, and Zachary Salisbury. 
this year that uh, one of the most important learning experiences time for our schools was the challenge program in elementary and middle school. At a young age, I learned how to think outside the box and come up with creative ideas for my fellow classmates while having fun and expanding my horizons. Julia shared that her favorite members of group brother and sister and me the leadership trip, slip, slide, and lunches out with her friends. And Zach shared uh, sitting in the red zone at sporting events, a senior trip to Boston, going to Myrtle Beach with the varsity baseball team. We have Sam Schraver, Tara Schroff, and Hannah Shin. Sam shared, uh, you know, favorite memories from FHS playing in percussion ensembles, pep band, and pit orchestra, chess painting for cross country sections, indoor track meets at RIT, Gilded Age Museum Corner, the Jazz Dinner Dance, and the holiday concert at Senior Ball. And then Hannah talked about her experience with the Junior Prom and the Senior Ball winning sectionals in the red zone. Next we have Lucas Simpson, Anne Marie Smith, and Hannah Socker. Lucas' most important learning experience is the Fairport of taking leadership and attending the meetings in DC. Anne Marie shares some special memories from FHS. I'm going to ask you to bear with me because it's a little long, but it's, it's really powerful and I wanted to share the entire thing with you. She said she was truly proud to be a Raider during the Special Olympics set off each year. I was always happy to see the excited faces of all the participants and the teachers. It made me proud to see the entire school in the hallways cheering on a special group of people who many do not know. It's amazing to see the pet band playing and the signs for each athlete. I remember thinking how great it was that these kids could feel the same pride and love from their peers as other Fairport athletes. I've also loved the times the whole FHS community comes together, a holiday jazz concert, family talk, the Raider Blues up, just a few favorite memories. Next we have Jason Tev, Garrett Thomas, and Max Hutzman. Garrett shared favorite memories including the leadership trip and all day and the day all his APs were over this year. <laughs> and Max talked about how to find the derivative of a function. Just kidding. Care week each of you here. Teaches and reminds me the importance of accepting others for who they are and the importance of spreading positivity to everyone because you never know. What someone else may be going through. Wise words. Next we have Irene Olna, Zachary Williams, and Stephanie Wright. And Irene shared again her memories, including Brother and Sister Week, Band Every Morning, the Leadership Trip, the Boston Trip, and her Physics Squad. Zach shared favorite FHS movement memories again, also included Brother and Sister Week, Radio Palooza, Homecoming Weekend, the Teachers. And at time, we got pulled pork stuck in the ceiling. We appreciate that, Zach. <laughs> and lastly, Stephanie talked about coming together their freshman year of Minerva and just navigating how high school works. So as we go, um, obviously, again, a, a very quick ceremony, but it's one of those things we, we really want to take the time to reflect and talk about. Seventh, you know, seventh semester cumulative average of 94.5. It's such a tremendous accomplishment rigorous courses. None of these students are taking easy classes. They all finish with their heads high across the, the tape, so to speak, and I'm uh, really excited to hear about where they're going and what they're going to be doing. And I really appreciate you taking the time to come here this evening, um, getting dressed up, and I hope you would sh share just a, a quick snack with us afterwards to recognize your company. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you.